In this video, I'll be walking you through how to perform a full calibration for EDMET's EX Series Explosion Proof Sensor Transmitters. Here we have the EX5175, one of EDMET's many Explosion Proof EX Series Sensor Transmitters. The EX Series can be connected to a variety of sources that provide 24 volt power and receive a 4 to 20 milliamp output signal from the sensor transmitter. These systems include PLCs, SCADAs, BMS, and EDMAT single and multi-channel controllers. Here we have an EX5175 explosion proof sensor transmitter powered by and sending a 4 to 20 milliamp signal to a single channel CP10. This calibration procedure applies to any of our EX series sensor transmitters. But for demonstration purposes, I'm using a model EX5175, which uses an electrochemical sensor and is calibrated for hydrogen sulfide, or H2S. Before starting a calibration, you must supply power to the sensor transmitter and give it at least 15 minutes to stabilize before starting the calibration process. Other models may require a longer warm-up period. Please consult your manual for the recommended warm-up period for your specific model. The sensor transmitter has been pre-calibrated at the factory and an initial field calibration should result in only fine-tuning the circuit as well as checking that the installation was successful. It is not necessary to open the enclosure to make an adjustment. The calibration functions are operated with magnets from outside the enclosure by tapping over the menu and the select switches. Never open the sensor transmitter unless the area is declassified. Zero and span calibration functions are two separate procedures operating independently of each other and are referred to as a two-point calibration. It is recommended that the zero procedure be done prior to the span procedure. EDMAT recommends quarterly calibration of the EX series sensor transmitters. Before you get started, you will need the proper calibration equipment for your EX series sensor transmitter. Calibration equipment is available from EDMAT to calibrate any of the EX series sensor transmitters. For this video, I'll be using the following calibration equipment. A gas regulator assembly for use with the 20 ppm H2S cylinder. Gas regulator assembly for use with the 20.9% O2 zeroing gas cylinder. A calibration adapter. Compressed air cylinder of 20.9% oxygen. Calibration gas of 20 ppm hydrogen sulfide and a magnet. Your gas regulator assembly, calibration adapter, and calibration gas may vary depending on which EX unit you are calibrating. Make sure to reference your manual for the correct equipment. Please note that the zero function is not applicable for the oxygen sensor transmitters. When calibrating an oxygen sensor, it is a single point calibration process. The first step to starting your calibration is to enter the maintenance menu on the sensor transmitter by holding your magnet over the menu key for 3 to 5 seconds until you see the word exit appear on the display. You are now in the maintenance menu. The zero calibration function must be performed by exposing the sensor to clean air using your certified 20.9% oxygen compressed air cylinder. The zero procedure steps are as follows. Tap the menu key once with the magnet to highlight the zero submenu option. Connect your calibration regulator to the 20.9% oxygen compressed air cylinder Install the calibration adapter to the sensor head and connect the regulator tube to the calibration adapter. Tap the select button to begin the zero procedure. 
The display will alternate between zero and PV. PV stands for present value. The transmitter will monitor the sensor signal for stability for 30 seconds. If the sensor signal is stable after 30 seconds, the new zero point will be accepted and Cal OK will be displayed, indicating a successful zero. You will be returned to the maintenance menu with the span option highlighted. An unsuccessful zero calibration will result in bad zero being displayed. Consult NMET technical support for troubleshooting assistance. The span calibration function must be performed by exposing the sensor to calibration gas. In this case, it will be 20 ppm hydrogen sulfide. If you've just completed the zero procedure, the span menu option should still be highlighted on the display at this point. Otherwise, use the menu key to cycle through the maintenance menu and highlight the span menu option. Connect your regulator to your calibration span gas cylinder and install the calibration adapter to the sensor head if not already installed. And connect the regulator tube to the calibration adapter. Tap the select button with the magnet to begin the span calibration procedure. The display will alternate between span concentration, in this case it is Cal 20, and PV. PV stands for present value. The transmitter will monitor the sensor signal for stability for two minutes. If the sensor signal is stable after two minutes, a new span point will be accepted and Cal OK will be displayed, indicating a successful calibration. You will be returned to the maintenance menu with the alarm one option highlighted. If the sensor did not respond to the calibration gas, same NV will be displayed. If the sensor responds but the signal is not within the acceptable range, bad span will be displayed. If the sensor is responding, but the signal is not stable, after 5 minutes, unstable will be displayed. Consult and met technical support for troubleshooting assistance. Tap the menu key to cycle through the maintenance menu options until you see exit displayed. Tap the select key to exit the maintenance menu and return to the operational mode. This completes the calibration of EDMET's EX-Series Explosion Proof Sensor Transmitters.